I mean, we talk about the divisiveness among, you know, the people, uh, among Americans these days. Boy, these two went after each other there on the debate stage. It got very personal. I mean, if you, you know, can remember back, you know, several election cycles ago, you probably would not have seen something like this where they're, I mean, they, they went at each other, you know, calling each other liar repeatedly, uh, you know, basically saying, you know, the world is laughing at you. No, they're laughing at you. Uh, I think what was the other uh, word that they used? Um, disgrace. Disgrace. You're a disgrace. Uh, you're weak. I mean, it just went back and forth over and over again. Um, does that help, you know, the rest of us who no. are at each other's throats, it seems like sometimes politically, does it help lower the temperature? Or, you it, know, is this just a case where, you know, each side's camps are cheering them on to get in there and, and go out? I don't it? think it changes. I don't think the ball moved at all tonight. I think the kind of things that are moving the ball are RFK endorsing Trump, asking all of his followers to endorse him. Elon Musk step, stepping up and endorsing Trump. It shows that these people are willing to work together in a unity party, which is what they were talking about, um, because they don't like the direction of, this, of the country. RFK does not like the direction of our country's going. Um, neither does Elon Musk. Um, you know, you've got a whole bunch of people like that who are saying, look, even if you don't love Donald Trump, if you don't like the New York, you know, fighter, he still represents what we want our country to look like. So, but, but on the other and side, I know that we're probably yeah. going to disagree no, on well, that. But I mean, I'm just we're going to disagree, and those are two interesting people to want to pull upon. I don't know that RFK does much of anything, but he he probably does fit better well with 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 the Republicans in that respect. And on the other but side, only, you made the point earlier that she's only, gotten a lot of endorsements yeah. from former Republicans, only including one from his administration. Candidate who has the overwhelming support of not only her party but also the other side's party. Okay, you, you see the, the, the crazy Tulsi Gabbards um, on that side, who was really never a Democrat. You see RFK, who I just would never have brought him up because he's the one who actually went to beg Kamala Harris for a job, got denied, and then decided, okay, well then I'll go to, go, go to Trump. So he fits in well there because he'll go to the highest bidder. That's, that, that actually does nothing, and it's too late to get off of many of those ballots. And most people who are such low information voters, that's, that is actually not even going to help him. Hmm. But there's only one candidate that has the endorsement from people who are actually respectable from both sides of the aisle, and that is Kamala Harris. And tonight she showed the American people that she wants to work for the people. She made the case that she was a prosecutor. She started from that beginning. And I can tell you that it's not, it's not a job that you do because you're making a lot of money. And her only client, I thought it was very resonating when she said that her only client was the American people. And she didn't ask them what their partisanship was. She asked them, how are they doing? And throughout the entire night, she reminded us that. How are you doing when you can't buy, pay your bills? When you're a small business and you can't start a small business? We never heard anything like that from Trump. We never heard him but look all into of that the camera happened and under say, her. how are you doing? All of that came about under the last three and a half years of Harris and Biden. All of that. I all mean, of what? All that you can't pay your bills, that inflation's gone up, that, that, you know, we had the false job report and we find out that actually far less jobs were created. It is a than reality that we had COVID. It came and, and unfortunately it did, it did hit Trump. And I will say there's some things he did. I, I have supported the tax thing for companies when we have a supply side issue but we were inherited and I say we because now I'm talking partisan wise but not the, we, we should be more purple than anything I will support that but Harris stated tonight they they inherited a terrible economy and have to move forward we are experiencing that feel because we're still stuck in an economy where the people who own the corporations are more concerned about making profits. I am old enough, and I think everybody at this table is, to remember a time where price gouging was considered un-American. And that is, the, that, is the, that is what you cannot say the Biden-Harris administration has done anything to cause inflation when you have corporations making record profits as well as getting tax breaks. You, they don't mix. Hmm. Inflation comes because we have a supply side problem, put, which she which we did have during COVID. She wants to put price controls over food. She doesn't want price controls. What she she, she wants, absolutely no, said no, she did. No, she absolutely did not. That is the narrative that Republicans like to say because you like to change things to your own narrative. Well, Biden's but own what, she, said what she wants to do is to go after um, 
go after companies that have monopolies because when you have monopolies when you have a company that owns more that owns pretty much all of the industry they are able to sell the prices that they want they're able to set prices she wants to go after monopolies and she wants to go after companies that are using um, inflation as an excuse to continue to generate record profits my question is this how do we have inflation when companies when the oil companies are making record profits that is that unfortunately they didn't talk about that today. Let me just, but those are things they should have talked about.